tell me this is a dream or something. The zombie mini was a bit OP. Come on. We can't stay here. I'm not, I, I, I don't feel emotional because I can't believe it. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Oh. Are we living in a dream? Keep moving forward. It's like we in a movie scene. If nothing says it's seen. Forward. Then why they give us hope? Then why they give us dreams? Keep running, keep on running, keep on running. Siri, play a jar, keep running. I right, Clem's still going, they're both still going, so it's cool. She doesn't seem sick. I don't even want to say anything. If I'm actually going to die. What the fuck? No way they're leading it like this. Clem's not... Bro. I'll be okay. Stop thinking about it. I don't I don't I don't think I should say anything. I can't just say stop thinking about it. No, I ain't dying. I'm going to be okay, AJ. We have to focus on getting back. But what if you're not? Keep running, keep on running, keep on running. Look, James's barn. It's empty now. We'll be safe in there. No. Or maybe. Oh, Clem's losing strength. I can see in her eyes. Now, this is not real, man. Move! Go, AJ, run! I'm right behind you. She's got no strength, man. Uh -oh. Oh, AJ's gonna have to do everything. Now I'm actually gonna cry, man. What the fuck? I'm already playing as Agent. It's over. 
dumb I hate being so uh, I'm already putting Bro, I've seen this playthrough before, this is not what I remember, bro. I don't remember this, what the hell, why do I not remember this? I don't remember this, bro, what the fuck? Close all the doors. Good accuracy, Clem. Ow, bullets. Oh, no. Okay, it seems like we're good. This isn't real, man. to find a way out of here. We could climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come on. Please, try. You can't give up. You can't give up. I need you. I need you. I'm so sorry, kiddo. This is 
just what happens sometimes. But it wasn't supposed to happen to you. <sighs> My little goofball. It's Alvin Jr. You'll always be goofball to me. Hey, look at me. Hey, Jay, please. How did I get so lucky? Gotcha. Please, don't, don't be silly right now. Not right now. Please. I just wanted to see you smile. One last time. Don't say that. Please, don't say that. I need to make sure you remember. Remember what? The rules. What's number one? Never, never go alone. So, so I can't leave, not without you. AJ. It's your rule. You won't be alone, not for long. Back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so... <clears throat> There's a fresh, juicy walker just waiting to be gutted. <clears throat> Grab that axe. You know what to do with it. Next rule. What do we do when the monsters come? Clem. AJ. Shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. <sighs> okay, then. Fuck. And the last rule. I want to stay with you. I know what'll happen. And I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and... and... stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. Even if someone kills us later, we'll just sit for a really long time. Please. Let me stay. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. I need you to sleep in your bed and have friends and grow tall. Taller than I ever was, I hope. I need you to live, AJ. For me. That's job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. Last rule. No. What do we do if I get bit? <laughs>
DJ. I'm coming. for a boy. He's about three years old. His name's Alvin Jr. Kids are. All right, all right. That way, there's a nursery. But I'm not letting one of you savages take a kid! AJ. It's me, Clem. Ha <laughs> 
Okay, now, where to? Can't go back to Richmond. This whole area is a war zone. Gotta... Go? Yeah, we have to go, AJ. This place, we can't stay here. It's not safe. But it's okay, we're survivors. First rule of survival is never go alone. Never go alone. Clem? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, Jay? Okay? We're gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. I know where we'll go. We'll go find ourselves a new home. Together. And I'll never leave you again.
wish you knew how to talk. Fishing's kind of lonely. girl. I'm gonna go put the spear away. Stay here and keep watch. It's getting kind of cold. I'll bring some sticks and stuff next time. Nothing good. I should tell Willie this is here in case we need more bombs. Beds are pretty good. Better than the ground. This place is... C cursed. Oh, that's scary. And mean. I think this place is good. Huh. It looks like a bad place to sleep. Hey, Jay. Hey. Everyone thought you died. Because, you know, you're you. No, I'm okay. Good. Sorry about Violet. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you or Clint. I'm sorry. It's all right. You're still mad, though. I didn't say that. But you are. I can tell. Please don't shoot me. What? Nothing. It's probably because of all the trauma that's on you. Clem told me. If you find it, you're supposed to just sock it right in the mouth. I don't know where to find it, though. So I'm just going to mess up all the time? Probably forever. Yeah. Oh, hey. I found this way down the river. Sorry it's so wet. 
I figured you would want it back. Yeah, I do. You should wear it. Nah, my hair's too big on my head. AJ? Why did it take you so long to come back? At first, I was ashamed. So I followed the river for a long time, just thinking about Vinny and... Yeah? I found their bodies. I saw what the walkers did to them. They were just bones. Stop. I know I asked, but I don't want to hear about this. About what they look like. Okay. Do you know what naive means? No. Clem never taught me that one. Do you remember that drawing I made for you the night Brody died? With the house, and the walkers, and my sisters and me? I remember. You said you sometimes drew your sisters like the walkers left them instead. We put it on the wall in our room. You drew me in. And Clem. Naive means you think a certain way because you don't know the way it really is. When I saw Minnie's body for real, how the walkers left her, I realized those drawings were stupid. That house will never be real. I'll never meet my sisters again. The only thing real is when we're alive. I don't think I really know anything about the world, AJ. I think you do. Can, can you teach me to be like you instead? The way I think just gets people in trouble. I don't wanna be why someone dies. Okay, everything I know, I'll tell you about it. First rule is never go alone. Hey, hun. It's getting late. Just coming to check on you. Dinner soon. Tennessee? Uh, mm, thank God. Hey, Ruby. We gotta get you home. I swear. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I bet. You coming with? Whoa. You found it? How did you... Tended. You guys go. I'll catch up. I'll be okay. Let's go home. Let's go home.
plot armor of death. What the fuck? If you want it. I'll put it in our room. I have a surprise for you, too. Come with me. I want to show you something. Nah, one sec, one sec, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> No fucking way. So, what do you think? It's this for me? Yep. Willie helped me put it together. Come on, let me push you. Did you ever get to swing when you were smaller? Yep, sure did. A long time ago. Food's ready, everyone! Come and get it! You're the best, Clem. It's gonna get cold! Come on. Let's go eat. We're coming. I have so much to say.
seconds, please. Already? You even taste that? Tin, we want to practice? I can show you how to use the gun. Okay. So that's where you put the bullet. When you shoot one bullet, it pushes another one up into the chamber. You should always save the last one for you. For me? In case you're gonna become a monster and you <sighs> don't want to. Okay. Save the last bullet for myself. Well, I'm getting tired, kiddo. Mind talking with me before I turn in? Sure. Gotcha. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I stare at it too. If it was just you and me alone out there, and I was like this, I don't know if I'd make it two weeks. I'm gonna need these to go anywhere. And if we ever had to run... It wouldn't be pretty. At least you're not a monster. Or dead. Anything's better than that. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget that. Oh, I'm sure you'll remind me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All this. It's worth it. All those times you would ask me if we'd find a home. All I could ever tell you was, we'll see. And your face would fall every single time. It's better than saying yes and lying to me. And that's what I told myself. But you want to know something I didn't tell you? I never had a plan. I never knew where we were going. I never knew anything. I just fought and fought and fought. ...and hoped you didn't notice. Hoped we'd find something before you did. I actually don't know what to say, man. Did I do a good job? Of course you did. What are you... are you crazy? <laughs> Maybe a little. A lot more than a little. When we were in the barn, you didn't listen to me. And if you had... I'd be dead. I shouldn't have said you weren't ready, back in the cave. You showed me how wrong I was. You'll have to be strong for the both of us. You made it so I can. So, thank you. For everything. You're welcome. For everything.
там still not bitten team these are like all the like people that worked on the game I guess Skybound game. Okay, okay, in you go. <clears throat> I know I missed a lot. I wonder who you used to be. But they be putting them in like it's a zombie apocalypse. Like when when am I gonna have time to flip and worry about collectibles, bro? looking I wonder if it has magic powers nah Even if I had more collectibles, I wouldn't even drop them, man. Just, just... I'm coming. Holy shit. You and 36% of players told AJ he wasn't ready to make his own decisions. 64% of players are fucking retarded, bro. There's no way the majority of... This game's being played by kids. Yeah, all the names that they gave us for options were trash. So I let Violet rename it. That that doesn't really matter though. You and seventy-seven percent of players asked AJ to kill you. <sighs> Either or was bad options, to be honest. Agreed to teach ten to be like you. Well, ten's a bitch, so he needs to tee up. You and 36 for tennis players. Okay, that's just everything in conclusion. He's traumatized after his capture, naturally. Well, that's good. James ain't dead though, or is his status like unconfirmed? Violet's actually dead. So you're telling me when Mini Mini speed blitzed everybody on some like on some conquerors hacky stuff through the zombie crowd and everything that was real. Nah, she's a demon. I missed one. I could have picked up his mask. When did he take it off? Or in the cave? Oh, I didn't peep. All right, fair enough, man. What Clem taught me. The first thing you do, you find the easiest way out. Always save a bullet for yourself. No. You didn't listen half the time anyways, man. Or well, you finessed...
I don't... It didn't... Is there more? No, that's actually it. What the fuck? That was an accident. <laughs> Alright, so, um, let me give my thoughts. So, I played, well, I didn't play the game. I watched, I don't remember who I watched play it, but, like, it was, like, years ago, maybe, like, 2014. So, approximately, like, 10 years ago. And it was, like, one of those playthroughs where you're just playing in the background. So, I don't remember clearly what happened yet, but. But what an experience! The game, the game, what an experience! What an experience! The game was a very, very good experience. Um, I'm very happy Clem got her, in a sense, happy ending, even though she lost her leg. Given a scenario where she has to actually escape again, she'll be put in danger because if I'm being realistic, she's probably not going to make it out in the end. She might have a few years of happiness, but remember, those guys, like Lily and them, they came from somewhere else, and they brought the boat here, and they were going to take her back to a base. So the people that came to that area could probably come to that area again, like build reinforcements in a sense, after they realize nobody comes. And in this case, that in this state that she's in, and with the amount of people they have left, they're done for pretty much. Um... But I'm happy they Clem doesn't doesn't die. That's the main thing. I think that's the main thing that I'm happy about. Um I'm conflicted with AJ because he wasn't strong enough to kill Clem, which is great, right? So up until the barn, that's actually real. And then Clem ended up chop I mean AJ ended up chopping off her leg. With him doing that. Because he didn't listen, and he took the risk, he actually ended up keeping us alive. Which is wild, actually. But I wonder how Clem was able to survive bleeding out and actually escaped from that building with the building being infested with zombies. It's kind of wild. Probably took off her jacket or something. But she was also with a high fever from the looks of it. So it's just interesting to me. Um, the plot thing already pissed me off. Because of Violet. Violet didn't need to die. AJ had at least 8 bullets. But the bullets. I'm glad he saved them. Because then Clem would have actually died. If he didn't have the bullets. So that's good I guess. But in a real life scenario, he would have just went and tried to save Violet. Like, he was shaken up for confidence reasons to save Violet. But then he didn't hesitate when it came to me, as in Clem. So, that's cool. Um, 10 is, is like the most undescribable character ever. His personality is consistently shaky, and I guess now he's developing, but that's only after the fact that he's put himself through so much. But again, he's very young, so I'll let him slide. But I, I'm not going to lie, I'm not man enough to let it slide if Clem died. I would, I would like, he'll enter my top three most hated char fictional characters of all time. It would have been so dumb. Um... I feel so bad for Lewis because now he's, he can never speak again and he's also very much traumatized because of that. Um, I'm conflicted about AJ in terms of him being able to make his own decisions. 
I feel like he made a good choice because at the end of the day, he did save my life. And it puts me in a conflicted spot of being able to tell him whether he's able to make his own decisions or not. Because at the end of the day, he's always going to hang it over my head to say, he saved my life. So at that point, you just got to accept the fact that he can make his own decisions. Even if 80% of the time, or even 90% of the time, he would make the wrong choice. Simply because he saved my life, I can't talk. Wild. Um, James did too much. Um, I think this might be the best or second best episode in the whole series. The best episode would be the end of season one. If not this one. And I don't know what to pick right now, but it's one of these two. The end of season two would be like three. 100% it would be three no matter what. But this one is either one or two. I think what I'm going to end this with, yeah. Because this is a fictional story, bear in mind. Like, it's in an apocalypse. It's fictional. It's fake. It's all fake. But what it made me think about, like, and it, like, the show was very, like, the series is very emotional and whatnot. Yeah, but in a degree of making me cry, the show itself didn't do that. But what it did is bring me to a realization of there are people in your life you could lose. And if you lose them, what are you going to do? You kind of just have to continue living in a sense. You're not going to just lose your life. But I like, think about the closest person to you. It might be your mother, father, grandparents, brother, sister. What if you just lose them? Like, what do you do? And that's actually like... I've never been in this position. I've never lost anybody like close to me. God forbid it. But like, that's what was going to like get me. That's why I wasn't speaking for most of the episode, because, like, I could have said two words. Crying on, on YouTube's crazy, by the way. Very crazy. I could have said two words. If I said two words, I probably would have, like, croaked. Like, no joke. But, yeah, man. Show love to the people you care about. Tell, tell, they did a good thing this season. Um, If I'm going to, like, rank the seasons... Season 4 is the best season. Season 1 second. Season 3... F season 2 third. And then season 3 f last. This season had everything in terms of movement. Like everything. Like I could use my controller for the first season I think. But that doesn't even matter. In terms of movement... um. Gameplay, the mechanics, the choices. The choices were a bit iffy here, but in season one they're iffy too. So I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's 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 not that big of a, a deal for that comparison. Season four is easily the best season. The only thing I might say is that you might have more of a bias to the season one characters because what every any character that you start with, you're going to you're gonna favor naturally more. And I don't really like a lot of these kids anyways. They all could have died. I couldn't I couldn't really care less. I'll be real. Except Lewis at the end though. Only because like I feel really bad for him. I'm happy Asim ended up with that girl. And that girl became like a lot more open to AJ as well. Um, Lee would be proud. I'm proud. I think it, um, I'm I'm happy Clem, like, she did the best she could. And I think she did a really good job. So I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her. I'm happy for AJ. It might have been a different scenario if I let them capture uh, Violet instead of Lewis. Maybe Lewis would be dead and then Violet's alive in the end. But probably Violet was guaranteed to die now that I think about it. So if I didn't, if I didn't save... Violet, she probably would have died in the house. So I think I made a good decision still now. Even more so because if she's guaranteed to die at the end, I think I made an even better decision now. Yeah.
I think I'm just gonna leave it like that, man. Um, appreciate you guys for watching, man. This has been a journey. Four seasons of a game. I've never dedicated myself to a game like this. I'm not gonna lie. Like not not something that I didn't play in my childhood, anyways. Like I don't know the last book outside of like Call of Duty's. I've never actually played a single player story mode game myself. That I haven't played when I was young. I usually just relapse over games that I've already played. So this is actually re uh, it's been a really good experience. Appreciate you guys for watching, man. My name's Akashi, guys. Subscribe to the second channel. I'll see you guys in the next game, maybe.